the first vlog of 2022. We're riding in the chopper. Let's go. guys Ralph here I'm extremely excited for this one as you can tell I am not in the city of Miami I am at Opalaka Executive Airport because we are riding with the aviation detail today this should be a fun one this is something we don't get to see every day Air One is stationed here always at Opalaka Airport the pilot and the TFO this is where they come they prepare they get ready they do all their pre-flight and everything here and then they head from Opalaka over to the city of Miami I'm gonna be introducing you guys to our pilot officer Macias and the TFO which is officer David Cruz let's head into the hangar so you guys can meet them and see the chopper hey guys my name is officer David Cruz uh, currently assigned to the uh, aviation detail I'm a uh, TFO what we uh, normally do when we get here to our uh, base we share it with the uh, US Coast Guard Air Station Miami we do a uh, pre-flight um, which you guys will see and also uh, just check uh, all the equipment from our flare to our night sun uh, also the uh, compartments where our uh, gearboxes and the uh, engine as well um, and everything else as far as like the uh, tail boom and also the main rotor blades so uh, you guys uh, will get to see that and uh, hopefully we'll have a great day hello i'm uh, alex macias i'm a civilian pilot for the city of miami police department before i did 29 years as an officer a sworn officer and i flew the past about six seven years prior as a part-timer then i left the police department i went to fly for the airlines and they offered me a job as a civilian pilot. And I've been flying here as a civilian pilot for the past uh, two and a half years, give or take. Walk us through what your day is like, you know, from the moment you get here until the moment you take off. Okay, our tour of is uh, the first thing we gotta do, we come to the airport, we check weather, make sure the weather is good for us to fly. Then we come here, we check the paperwork, everything, make sure all the maintenance is, is up to date. Uh, logging our hours, and uh, we do our pre-flight. Usually we do pre-flight and post-flights every time we take off on land. And then once everything is ready, we use our chopper spotter. Uh, so you're gonna see later, we're gonna carry that out into the tarmac and we take off. 337 for Bravo Box Papa. 100 on the go ahead, get the
What's up guys? I'm helping Ralph out this vlog. So some of the B-roll shots you see, I'm helping him out. That's what we do on social media. I'll see you guys soon. All right, let's get out of here. We just landed at the Central Station and honestly I think that took about five minutes. It's the fastest I've ever been from Opalaka to downtown, that's for sure. So right now the guys are going to have a safety meeting that they do once a month and then right after that we'll come back up to the rooftop. Um, Officer Cruz will give us a little bit more of an in-depth tour of the chopper head to toe of all the different toys that it has and how he uses it. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, come along. Let me show you all the equipment we got on our helicopter. So right down here, immediately right under me where I sit, we have the uh, FLIR 8000. That's our forward-looking infrared camera. Uh, it acts like a regular camcorder. Uh, it records in color during the day and at nighttime whenever we need to see uh, areas where there's a lot of uh, dark spots or just uh, into a car or something like that. We would use our uh, infrared camera. Back here we also have for nighttime operations is our SX-16 Spectrolab Night Sun uh, Spotlight, which is basically our big flashlight. Uh, that's gonna be in the back of the uh, helicopter. That's something else that I operate as well. This thing here uh, can turn any block into daylight. It's got 40 million candle power. Wow. Talk about a lot of power coming out of this unit here. Uh, and it helps out our ground units uh, during their searches and also for, uh, like I mentioned before, the search and rescue missions uh, out in the water or here on, um, on, in our parks, uh, especially at nighttime. I'm going to take you guys inside and we're going to show you some of the equipment. Alright guys, uh, I also failed to mention we are low jack equipped. Uh, and that's this button right here. We activate it once we hit it. This is our low jack display and uh, Any cars that are uh, stolen reported stolen the low jack is activated and This sends out a signal to us and also ground units have this as well right here. I have my FLIR display I'm gonna fire it up real quick and uh, Turn it on as you can see we have it on the uh, color camera uh, right now, since it is still daylight, uh, right now our infrared will probably look kind of distorted, just like that. You probably you can't even see anything. But at nighttime, you guys will be able to see a lot better how it works. Okay, on this side we have our uh, sunlight controller. Uh, this is the spotlight, that big flashlight that we spoke about. And once we turn it on, it'll bring out that big light and we can just direct it wherever we want to point that light to. Thank you so much for the tour. I don't know about you, I'm ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right. We're gonna take off now. We're gonna be patrolling from the sky, assisting any units on the ground, and let's see what happens from there. I'm not gonna be able to talk so much while we're up in the air because these guys are laser focused. Um, we're just gonna go along for the ride and see what happens. Let's go. Show us 09 IBM 27546, radio 0246. Show us monitoring channel 7.
We're showing a call at Morningside Park of a suspicious person. Do you mind going and checking if you see anything from up there? Yes, sir. Show Air One in route. As you can see, it's a little bit dark out here. Um, let's talk to Officer Cruz quick so he can kind of explain what it is exactly that just happened when we landed and what they're doing. All right guys, so basically what we just did was uh, an engine rinse. We have to do this every other day because we, tra we uh, operate in an area that has a lot of uh, salt all around the air because we're our proximity to the ocean. Now we'll have to do a, uh, a general rinse of the helicopter with distilled water or deionized water. That's water that doesn't hurt the components of the uh, helicopter uh, as far as like the blades, uh, the tail rotor, uh, also the skids. These are things that can rust very easily. That was really cool. We got a real exclusive look at Air One um, some of the tools they use from the FLIR system to the spotlight. We live in a beautiful city and you really get to appreciate it when you see it from so far up above. Brother, hey man, yes, sir. Thank, thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you man, thank you for flying with us and uh, thank you for being with us and be safe. I wanna say thank you for letting us ride along today. We had a great time and I hope to see you soon. So take thank care, you, thank you for flying with us. It. Thank you, take care. It is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed riding along with our aviation detail. As always, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.